it's fear. It's fear. What holds all of us back? Well, we like to put together what I call the FUEs, frequently used excuses. I don't have time, I don't have money. I don't know the right people. I don't have any good ideas. But at the end of the day, it's really about judgment, being judged, insecurity. And these pieces are all drawn up and pulled up into your life from all this past trauma. And really, in many ways, it's just part of growing up is, you know, where we bullied, where we loved on, did we have the right people in our lives teaching us the right things. And we all had a, some kind of mix of all of those things. But at the end of the day, you're not moving forward. We're not moving forward. We get stuck, plain and simple, because of fear. And so I want to talk about fear because it's one of the things that I see on a very, very consistent basis that just, man, gets a hold on people and just won't let go. And one thing you have to understand about fear is, is it's not your fear. <laughs> That's right, it's not your fear. Fear is a tool built into our system to keep us safe, and it's pretty much as simple as that. And the challenge is, is, is we build up all these various stories about who we are or who we aren't, what we have or what we don't have. And when you dig down deep in it, it really comes back to judgment and or really things that we weren't able to overcome or things that we experienced in life that got a hold on us. And like I said, it kind of ends up always coming back to what other people think about who we are, or what we've done or what we haven't done in life. And things start when we're at a very young age and the thing I understand about this concept of fear though is, is like I said, it's not your fear, it's your body's fear. It's a tool that's used to keep you safe. And this is, goes back into your reptilian brain and I'm not gonna get into brain science here, but or neuroscience, but at the end of the day, you have this amazing system built in that's to protect you from all kinds of various things. The challenge is, is that we, we, especially as a young person, we boxed all kinds of various things into these big buckets of just plain fear. We haven't walked ourselves back through all these various storylines, you know, in your, in your brain, you basically have a, depends on who you ask, somewhere between three and 400 million neuroreceptors or, or buckets as I like to call them, and, or you can call them a hub. And inside that bucket or hub is an experience, an emotion, and it has a set of rules. That set of rules was formed by our community, our past, from our parents, preachers, teachers, coaches, friends, siblings, everybody that was around us, our community that raised us, taught us all these various ways to view the world. And at the end of the day, if your parents had fear of spiders or if your parents had fear of heights, guess what? Challenges or the chances are you having very similar things uh, are very high and you didn't have any choice in it. So the question is, is are you going to continue to live your life in that space or are you going to take control of your life and learn how to overcome these things, learn how to push through and learn how to actually take control of your own life. I'm super excited for you. I get I get really excited about uh, helping people. It's my life's mission. I've overcome a lot of things in my life and uh, I've wrapped all these things up into a nice little package and finally produced a book. And I would really like you to go out there and get a hold of this thing. And many of these things I'm gonna discuss and talk about are covered in the book. And we're going to be doing a whole training uh, series and all kinds of interesting uh, tools that we're going to put out to help all of us get unstuck or when we feel like we're moving into that phase of our life or a place that's uh, not comfortable, why? How can we move through it? How can we overcome it? So I want you to think about this. Your life is not your fault until it is. It's all in your hands. So let's go make it happen.